so we're doing well um, even though it may not look like that in a natural um, we're trusting God um, as tonight's topic is do you trust me um, and of course as I say everything that I share it's hit me first uh, so then I can share it on my way for dinner and no rabbit food please <laughs> well it, it's salmon uh, salmon burger with a salad it's a nice delicious salad uh prepared it already so with tomatoes cheese all that so it's no rabbit food <laughs> so it'll be delicious it'll be delicious so uh, my name is tisha linton rose coming uh to you on monday evenings uh with encouragement inspiration uh motivation <laughs> <laughs> Tony is hilarious. We'll have ribs on Wednesday, so um, you can you can come. Uh, I know you trust me, um, and the title is about trusting God. The title is trusting God. Um, <laughs> do you trust me? So you know God is asking that question uh, to myself first, and then to you all. Um, I shared in two weeks ago that I was uh, going to an interview. Um, well, that particular interview was not what God had for me. Um, so that door didn't open. Um, of course, when we're walking in faith, when we you know, say we believe God, when we trust God and we believe in something to come to pass, when it doesn't, sometimes it can kind of throw us off and it's like, you know, you may get a little discouraged because of, after all, we're in the natural. Um, but God is saying, do you trust me? Um, and uh, the scripture that I was led to is Jeremiah 29, 11 to 13. It's one of my favorite uh, because again, it's the God promising the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. Absolutely. And that's why as you share the scripture, because um, that's what we hold on to because so many things uh, uh, sometimes doesn't go the way we need it to, would like it to uh, in life. However, if we know that God is faithful, if we know that God is sovereign and he is, we can trust him and we can trust his decision. So with this, do you trust me? Um, and I went to Jeremiah 29, 11 to 13. I'll read it in the Amplified Version first um, and then break it down in the message because that just, you know, kind of puts it smack dab in our face, right? And it says, for I know the thoughts and plans that I have for you, says the Lord, thoughts and plans for welfare and peace and not for evil, to give you hope in your final outcome. Then you will call upon me and you will come and pray to me and I will hear and heed you. And verse 13, then you will seek me inquire for and require me as a vital necessity and find me when you search for me with all your heart. So in terms of trusting God, of course, when everything is going our way, when everything is, um, you know, all great, good, health-wise, finances, job, business, when everything is working, of course, it's great to trust God. However, um, a lot of times this comes in times when there's a challenge, when there's a concern, do we trust him? Do we trust that he has our best interest as he told us? And God is not a God that he will lie. So when he says, my thoughts are for welfare, for peace, um, other versions said for good and not for evil, we can trust that uh, he watches over his word. And if he allows certain things to happen, uh, he's probably growing us, grooming us. He's probably preparing us uh, for the next assignment that we need to learn fortitude or we need to learn strength. Uh, we need to learn trust in this particular situation. Does seem like the crushing of Allah's ha. I know, right? Jacqueline Carr's song. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, we use olive oil uh, anointing uh, for anointing. We use it to cook healthier. Um, 
that Olive had to go through some challenges, that Olive had to go through some pressing for us to be able to use it. So yes, Tristan, we do have to go through pressing sometimes and it doesn't feel good. You know, no one is going to say, oh yeah, come on, bring it on, Lord. I enjoy this. No, 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 no. But we need to trust God. The message version of this scripture says, I know what I am doing. And of course, uh, you know, the message is more contemporary language. So I don't use it all the time because sometimes we can get too contemporary and too familiar. But I leave that there. However, this says, I know what I am doing. I have it all planned out. Plans to take care of you, not abandon you. Plans to give you the future you hope for. So we all hope for the best and we hope in God. When you call on me, when you come and pray to me, I listen. When you come looking for me, you'll find me. Yes, when you get serious about finding me and want it more than anything else, I'll make sure you won't be disappointed. And for me, why I, I, I chose this title and this scripture today, Do You Trust Me?, is because um, sometimes, you know, we have our plans and when they didn't work out, you know, we get discouraged. Um, however, God wants us to seek him first. God wants us to trust him. God wants us to commit our plans to him. That scripture is in Proverbs, Psalms, Psalms of Proverbs, if I'm not mistaken, commit our plans to the Lord and he will cause them to succeed. So this just encouraged me and tomorrow I'm going to a job fair and I'm like, okay, God, updated the resume, I'm ready um, for whatever the, the, the open door is because my life, um, my desire is to live for his glory, right? Um, so sometimes everything may not work out. And sometimes there will be times where he's testing us to see, can I trust you with that assignment? Can I trust you in that workplace, in that job? So to bring back to you from two weeks ago, hey, Britt, <laughs> welcome, welcome. Um, that particular job I went, in, went on an interview for, I didn't get it. And I was kind of confident because I didn't really realize there were other candidates. So when we get the letter, it's like, okay, God, thank you. That wasn't from you. If it was, it would have happened. So I'm trusting God. Um, and the other scripture that I put in the title is Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct our path. Our understanding is uh, finite. Uh, we a lot of times can only see what's in front of us. We can only see with our natural eyes. So we need to trust God that he has the big picture. And... By seeking God, as the scriptures say, meaning praying to him first <laughs> and praying to him throughout the entire situation all day, uh, not necessarily bow down on your knees because you may not you know, be able to do that in the workplace, but always constantly being in prayer so that uh, God can be downloading instructions, directions through the Holy Spirit. So reminder, I know what I'm doing. I have it planned out. Because when he finished the creation, he rested from everything. So right now, he's completed our life, and we're just backing up into it. So if we trust him, we can get to the assignment that he has for us sooner, right? So I'm encouraging you to trust God. What is that thing that uh, you're praying will work out? If it's healing in your body, Lord knows I'm praying for that. And I'm believing healing because I'm standing on the word. Uh, may have to go through some, you know, different challenges, um, <laughs> um, different challenges and, you know, proving God um, and walking situations out for others. Because sometimes our testing is a testimony for someone else. It's like, oh, wow. Yeah, he did it for me. So he'll do it for you. He did it for them. So he'll do it for me. Right. Um, and sometimes we may get ourselves into a situation um, and he works it out so that we can give him the glory. So when you call on me, when you come and pray to me, I listen. So what is your challenge? What is your issue? What is your struggle? Take it to God. Um, it's not too late. Sometimes we may uh, get guilty, feel guilty. Um, you know, well, I haven't been praying. I haven't been praying, you know, my devotions time in the morning or whatever. God doesn't hold grudges. 
he doesn't hold it against us. He is waiting for us to come to him, right? So that's just the enemy. Oh no, mm -mm, you haven't been praying. So God don't want to hear you. No, get behind me, Satan. <laughs> Trust and obey. Absolutely. Get behind me, Satan. No, God is always available uh, for his children right? And even for those who are not his children to come and seek him, to come and accept him as Savior and Lord. So as you go out, go throughout this week, uh, we have, is it two more weeks? I think it's, yeah, two more weeks because we have a long month. As you go throughout, determine to trust God. Uh, my last scripture is Hebrews 10, 23, and pretty much is uh, the B part of that verse that says, for he is faithful that promise. So if you're holding on to a promise in the word, God is faithful to watch over the promise. And if a situation doesn't work out quite how you desire it to, trust God anyway. Thank him that, okay, Lord, because I trust you and it didn't work out, I know you have something better for me. And I thank you for it. And give him the praise in the tough times, in the hard times, and you know, know that he is working. So at some point on one of these Mondays, I'm going to be uh, giving you a praise report. Yes, I'll be working here or, um, and, uh, not uh, or, but and that the business is blooming, that, that, that clients and contracts are coming in. So I'm being faithful, uh, being good steward, going on the job fairs, um, you know, and also pursuing uh, business, right? So trust God. He is faithful. So Lord, I thank you, Father God, for everyone that's watching the broadcast live and those who will catch the replay. I thank you, Lord God, that we can stand on your word and that we have the blessed assurance that you are faithful to us. Uh, I pray, Father, for encouragement because in the natural, sometimes we get discouraged, we get weak, we get tired, we get exhausted, uh, we encounter disappointments. However, we can cast every care upon you, knowing that you care for us and not hold on to it because cares can come become snares and keep us hostage. Uh, when, when just like the uh, animal is trapped into a snare uh, in hunting and they can't go anywhere. So we don't want to be trapped by the cares, Lord God. So help us to cast them upon you each and every time, not to dwell in the, the current situation, but to trust you to move forward, to trust you to open doors, to trust you, Father God, to work and move on our behalf. So bless, move, manifest your presence in our lives, demonstrate your power in our, our lives, and we'll be ever so careful to give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. You are faithful. We love you. We bless you, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. So that was just some encouragement. Do you trust me in the form of a question? And with that, as you, you know, be, before you say, yes, I trust God, just think about that. Hey, Angela, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, when you say, oh, yes, I trust God, just remember in those hard times, do you trust God? Can you still trust God, right? He is faithful. He's faithful. He's faithful. So give him the praise. Um, give him the thanksgiving, um, you know, at all times, in all situations, because everything he will cause, Romans 8, 28, if we love him and if we are called according to his purpose, God will cause everything to work together for our good. For his glory. Trust is strong belief. Yes. So as we leave this evening, walk in the strong belief that God is working. Well, he has worked and he is just controlling everything behind the scenes. So I pray health, healing, abundance, increase, overflow, favor, whatever it is that you need, that you're standing on the promises of God. I'm believing with you that God will bring it to pass in due to season, in the appointed time, and he will get the glory. Amen. So God bless you all. I'm giving y'all back change because it's only 16 minutes after the hour. Um, so thank you so much for uh, joining. Thank you for watching. Share with your followers. Share with your social media platforms. And uh, we'll be back here next week, Monday, uh, same time until time changes. I'm trying to figure out what that will be. But same time, 
um, next Monday evening. Amen. So God bless you all. Love you all. Thank you for your support. Until we meet again. Hey, how you doing, Teeter? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hit the broadcast uh, real quick. Blessings to all of you. Amen. God bless you. Bye-bye.